Hello everybody! In today's video, I'll show you how to fix this error, which appears when downloading or updating apps for Android devices from Google Play Store. In fact, this is one of the most widespread errors for this category of phones. As you download or update an application, you suddenly see the message saying Error retrieving information from server. And nothing happens, no matter how many times you tap retry. So in a few minutes, I'll show you in detail how to get rid of this error and continue using Play Store. So let's begin. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. For starters, check your network connection. Open a browser and load any page. If there are no network issues and the page is loaded successfully, go on to the next step. If this error appeared after you've installed a third-party app, we need to check this specific app. What if that's your troublemaker? Do it by booting your device in the safe mode. Restart your phone, press and hold a certain combination of buttons, and this combination varies depending on a specific phone brand and model. So to be on the safe side, don't guess. Just search this information on the Internet using a phrase like boot phone in safe mode and add your model name. When your phone starts in the safe mode, all third-party apps are disabled, including those that may interfere with its connection to Google Play Store server. If the Play Store app works normally in the safe mode, then it must be a third-party app that's causing problems. Restart the phone back into the normal mode and disable all third-party apps one by one until you find the culprit. Alternatively, start by removing the app which was installed last before you face this error. Some phone models may not have a safe mode option at all. In this case, try disabling third-party apps one by one. Most often, the ones to blame are antiviruses, VPN tools, ad blockers, all kinds of memory boosters and accelerators. If you configured VPN settings manually, you can see this error in the safe mode as well. In this case, your first step should be to disable VPN. If nothing helps so far, let's move on. Another important step in eliminating this error is to clean your Android device. Open Settings – Apps – All apps. Look for Google Play Store app and tap on it. Now tap here to clear everything. Then check how the app works. If the error is still there, go back to Play Store settings. Tap here to remove updates. OK. After updates are deleted, start the app and check if the error appears again. You may need to update the app first. If cleaning Play Store data doesn't help, do the same for Google Play, Google Services Framework and Downloads. If some of them are not shown, Tap on the menu button above to have all of them displayed. Another method to fix the problem is to reset the Google account linked to this phone. Open Settings – Accounts and Sync – Google. Select your account – More – Remove account. To proceed, you need to know the password to your Google account. If you don't remember it, don't hurry to remove the account from the settings. Restore the password first. Later, when the account is removed, add it again. Settings – Accounts and Sync – Add account – Google Enter your data. After the account is added, check if the problem is gone by now. Usually, the error should disappear after all these steps. If it doesn't, try creating a new Google account and linking it to your phone. Here are some more settings to be checked. Open Settings – Connection and Sharing – Data Usage – System Apps – and make sure that background data is enabled and data usage is not restricted. Passwords and Security – Privacy – Special App Access – Modify System Settings 
and check if the option to allow modifying system settings is enabled. It should be on for Google Play Services and Google Play Store. If you can't download or update apps in Google Play Store because of this nasty error, try downloading manually the latest APK file for Play Store from a different source. Before doing that, check if the link is safe. Learn more from another video on our channel, find the link below. After an APK file is downloaded, allow its installation, install it, and then check if other apps can be downloaded and updated. One more thing to bear in mind is to check your device for correct time and date. Open Settings, Additional Settings, Date and Time. If you have enabled using Network Provided Time and Automatic Time Zone, make sure that the date, time and time zone selected automatically by the operating system are correct. If they aren't, disable Automatic Time and Date settings and set the actual time zone, date and time. If automatic time and date settings are disabled, try turning them on. If you do it, and the time zone is still displayed incorrectly, try setting it manually. After that, check if the problem is solved and if Play Store can work without that nasty error. By the way, in addition to this error, today's brief tutorial will also help you fix the information retrieving error RH01 and error 495. And that is all for now. I hope this video helped you to fix the error. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!